and today I'm going to be teaching you how to divide by 99. It is another one of the Vedic Maths tricks and so if you are new to this uh, Vedic Maths thing, so basically what Vedic Maths does is it provides shortcuts for doing specific things, for example like this video dividing by 99. Um, if you like this, then I have lots of more videos on, uh, like, Vedic Maths, so go, make sure to go watch them. The link will be down in the description below. So, let's get started. Um, so we're going to be dividing by 99, and it can be any amount of digits. So, 4, 3, uh, well, it can't be a 2, unless it's 99, because then it won't be able to d divide by 99. So we're doing any number, three digits, four digits, five digits, any number. So I'm just going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, divided by 99. So, sorry. So the first step that we have to do is, uh, sorry, just give me a second. So the first step that we have to do is we have to split the number into parts from right to left each part containing two digits. Didn't understand that, here's what it means. So, starting from the right, let me get rid of this one. Don't know why I did that. Uh, so starting from the right, we break it up in every two numbers. So 56, that's one part, and draw like a slash to separate one part from the next part. 34, that's another two numbers, and then 12. Uh, so this uh, first part could also be one digit, depend uh, all and also you could have like billions of parts or just two parts or any amount of parts. It doesn't matter, but you just need to break it up into parts, each containing two digits, or the first one might contain one. And then what we have to do is we have to kind of get a new line, and we have to or, well, you don't have to really get a new line. You can just do it on the next line, but we have to kind of so the amount of parts that are in here will be the amount of parts in here. So that's first part, second part, third part. First part, second part, third part. Okay, so this first part is the first part above. It's the exact same. But the second part is the first part plus the second part. So this is the first part. Um, this second one is the first part plus the second part. So 12 plus 34 is 46 uh, and then this third part is the first part plus the second part plus the third part so that's one plus two plus three so that's the first part plus the second part plus the third part uh that's so that's basically the same as 46 plus 56 which is 102 i'm pretty sure yeah that's right all right 102 sorry Okay, so now that we have our parts, 12, 46, and 102, I'm just going to let you know that this last part is going to be the remainder. Uh, let me just spell that right. <laughs> remainder, sorry for that really bad eye. And the remainder can't be more than 99, because that's what we're defining by. So, if the remainder, so this, if the third part is more than 99, then we have to do this, but if it's less than 99, then just leave it, leave it as it is. So if it's more than 99, we have to get the first, let me just write out these ones, these numbers. So we have to get the first, the, so the third, the first digit of the number, there should be three digits, and we have to get the first digit of that number, and we have to do two things with it. One, we add it to the previous number. So let me just go to a new line. So 12, 47, because 1 plus 46. And then this one will be left with 02, because that one is gone. And the second thing we have to do with this one is we also have to add it to itself. What that means is add 1 to the previous number and add 1 to that current number. So that'll be 0 to, imagine that one is still there. You have to add it into there. So that'll be 12, 47, 0, 3. Okay, uh, sorry for the break. So it'll be 12, 
47 since we added that one from here and 0, 03 since we also added that one to itself and then we can just that's that's it basically so the answer will be 1247 and then since that one's a remainder it will be remainder three and if you want to check that that is the correct answer then we can do one two four seven multiplied by 99 and then add this so if we want to multiply any number by 99 what we can do is multiply it by 100 so one two four seven and then just add two extra zeros and then subtract it subtract that number which will so that's a so that's the number times a hundred minus the number that's a minus symbol the number times one so it will be the number times 99 so that's what we'll get so if we do subtraction on this one uh, so make that six uh, cross that out make that nine and then add one here so ten minus seven is three nine minus four is five six minus two is four four minus one is three and then one two one two three four five one two three four five three but remember we have to add this remainder down here so plus three is equal to one two three four five six which is the same as up here so this will equal to one two four seven remainder three okay so now i'm going to clear the board and give you another example um yeah and also oh and before if you didn't if you had that remainder that was less than 100 then all you would have done is made it 1246 so it will be 12 i'm oh, sorry 1246 uh, and then remainder whatever you got like so since so you don't have to do that extra step of converting the remainder i'm just going to rub that out okay so I'll be back with a new example. All right, so this time I'm gonna do five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's five digit number divided by 99. And I'm gonna move this to this quite quickly so that uh, you won't feel bored. Um, so we're gonna split this number into uh, parts, we're starting from right, from, starting from the right, going to the left, and they each have to have two digits. So 89. That's one part, 67, one part, and this one is five. Uh, if you want to, you can add a zero, but it really doesn't matter because of the process. So the amount of parts in here will be the amount of parts down here. So the first part will just be itself, so five. Second part is the first part plus the second part. So five plus 67 is 72. Wait, is that right? Yeah, 72. And then, um, the next part is the first one plus the second one plus the third one. So that'll be 72 plus 89, which is, hopefully I can do this quickly, 161. Uh, yeah, that is. Okay, so 161. That will be the remainder. Again, I'm just going to put it like that, the remainder. So we have to, so send with this one over here, we have to add it to here. And add it to itself. So it'll be 5, 73, and then the remainder will be 62, since we add that one over here. And then this we can just change into normal, 5, 73, and then remainder 62. To check, we can do 5, 73, multiply that by 100, minus 5, 73. This is just a check, you don't have to do this, but that's the answer. Um, and the remainders are quite big since we're dividing by 99. Um, so take that, that'll be 2, that'll be a 9, 1. So 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 7 is 2. Uh, we can't do 2 minus 5, so 6, 1. 12 minus 5 is 7, that'll be 6, 5. And we have to add this remainder. So plus 62, that'll equal 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's the same as up there again. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. 
as well as the subscribe button and um so which are both right there and if you want to be notified of my videos then um just hit the notification bell but it only appears after you've subscribed so um make sure to subscribe and um goodbye see you in my next video